Why has Wilmington lost over a thousand jobs? And meet a candidate for Attorney General. This is the Delaware Way. Welcome to the Delaware Way. Well, the new mayor of Wilmington has been in office for a year. How is Mike Perzicki doing economically? He is the redevelopment guy, right? Well, somebody that would know how well things are going is Jeff Flynn, who is the director of economic development in Wilmington. Jeff, thanks so much for being here. We talked to you when you first took office, and I appreciate you coming in then. And you talked about the plans for, for Wilmington. What has taken off since the time you've come into office to, to now? What, what, what are some of your successes you can point to? Sure. I think back then, Larry, we just launched the Grow Wilmington Fund, which is a, a 7A loan fund. Uh, 7A refers to the, the IRS code that allows um, the federal government to um, guarantee a portion of every loan dollar. Uh, we, we just started the Grow Wilmington Fund last time I was here. Uh, we now have six borrowers, and we've created about 50 new jobs. And what's really unique about the Grow Wilmington Fund is if you're a Wilmington business and you're going to expand using the fund, you get a slightly lower interest rate than you might uh, get for a similar loan at a bank. Is it only available to existing companies? You, you just talked about companies that are already here that want to expand. Yes, the 7A loan is a, a loan that's per uh, particular to companies that have two years tax returns. So been in business for, for two years. There are occasions where a startup can use it, but on those occasions, that startup already has an existing business or an existing revenue source. So, so this new fund that, that seems to be getting some press, the Grow Delaware Fund, is that an offshoot of this? It is. It's, it is the same sort of um, economic model about how it was started. It's just now statewide. And um, a percentage of those uh, new funds that were announced uh, two weeks ago for Grow Delaware are reserved for Wilmington. So the Grow Wilmington Fund, when we started it, we had $4 million in lending capacity. Add two to that uh, as a part of the Grow Delaware expansion. Now, what you just told me is, is great. That you have six companies and you're in 50 jobs because any upward movement is good. But I guess my first question is, is that upward movement? Did we lose more jobs than we brought in in, in this expansion? I'll start with that before I get to my next question. You, you know, we've got about 50,000 jobs um, in the city right now. And so when, when you look at it sort of at that, at that macro level, I can tell you uh, two years ago we were at 52. At the bottom uh, or at, at the height of the recession in 2010, 2011, we were at 48. So, you know, we, we've, we, we moved up, we retreated back, and um, I think we're probably going to remain in and around 51,000 jobs here in the back, city. The retreat back, what was the cause of that? Um, DuPont Company. The official, the um, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase may have um, moved some jobs out temporarily as they redo their space. So actually, you see that pretty often, Larry, when we, we work with Department of Labor on, on job counts in the city. Um, they're constantly being refined and adjusted. Uh, and in some cases, something as simple as uh, laying out new office space by a major employer actually impacts our I, I job I get it, numbers. but when you talk about 52,000 jobs or 51,000 jobs, 1,000 or 2,000 jobs is, are a lot of jobs mm -hmm. uh, per capita. And so that, uh, that still had to be a concern, even if you say it's, a, it's, the, it's, the, it's the ebb and flow of the economy, that, that has to be a concern. Yeah, well, no, we, you know, we focus on what we, can, what we control, which is trying to add value to companies that are making a decision to stay or grow in Wilmington. That's where I wanted to go and from so that, that's, because there has that's to be what we more focus than that, right? on. Doesn't it have to be more than that? You have to attract new businesses to come here. Yes, but you know, what, what most people don't talk about as often as you know, thinking, well, we need new businesses is, is growing existing businesses. There's a, lot, there's a lot of opportunity in taking businesses that are sort of on the fence. Um, I can't tell you the number of times that I've gone around, particularly with a new mayor, and met companies that even after having worked here in the city for many years, I wasn't aware of. And, um, and it's, it's helping those businesses go from 10 to 15 employees or 50 to 75. That, that's a real area of opportunity. And I'll just give you one quick example, the Archer Group. Uh, here's a, a digital marketing company, very successful marketing company, started 10 years ago, uh, grew to 70 employees. They recently made a commitment to stay in Wilmington. They changed offices and they're going to grow to 120 employees. Were they part of this fund? 
We also have other uh, programs and other ways, everything from just technical assistance, uh, helping a company navigate permitting, all the way to using incentives, or, and there's some other loan funds we have, First State Loan, Community Loan Group, um, WEDCO, which is the Wilmington Economic Development Corporation. These are all um, financial development organizations that help businesses grow. When you talk to businesses that are either in Wilmington or talking about coming to Wilmington, when you talk to those businesses, what is their biggest concern specifically about Wilmington? In some cases, it's uh, access to talent, finding the, making sure that, um, for, especially if it's a regional move, making sure that they're going to have access to, um, to, to uh, a good talent pool. Um, parking often comes up, parking's tough to compete with, you know, oftentimes right over the, the county line, parking is, is at no cost. Right. Um, and here in the city, it's, it's different, so. Um, that Does crime come up? Crime comes up, but not as often as you might think. Um, it, uh, we get most, most companies um, understand that um, where they're gonna locate in the city, you know, has a different profile than what, what they might read about. So companies just want to make sure that where they're located and where their employees are going to uh, recreate, play, go for lunch, travel back and forth to their cars. If you, if you look at, um, we, when we look at those, you know, the, the context that way, uh, companies are usually pretty comfortable with the decision they're making. But So when you wrap that all up, and we have to wrap this up, but when you wrap that all up, and you say, okay, you have, you have to figure out the parking problem. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit more taxes than you would if you lived outside of Wilmington, somewhere else in Delaware. Um, how do you rectify those problems? What, what, how, what's your, what, what is your sales job at that point? Sometimes the market um, rectifies it in the following way. The, um, the, the, the cost to lease space in the county, um, uh, that mark, relative to the cost of lease space in the city with the combined parking. Um, you know, the delta there might be just enough for the company to absorb. Companies want to be in urban locations. They want to be around other thought leaders, other talent pools. So there's a lot of interest from companies in Comores. That was one of the reasons Comores chose to stay downtown. There's a lot of advantages to being downtown. Uh, as composed uh, compared to a suburban office park. Yeah, I didn't so, mean to focus on the negative, but I wanted to see yeah, how so, you dealt with some of the negatives. I know. So fortunately that a for good us, feeling. fortunately for us, companies are weighing those factors, and they might be able to, to pay a little bit more or offset, you know, those economic disadvantages. Great. I always yeah. appreciate you coming yeah, in. Yeah, thanks for having me, Larry. Sure. Good to see you. Jeff Flynn is the director of economic development in Wilmington. The Delaware Way continues right after this.